thanks for hanging out with me again. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be reviewing the Bridgerton series. I wanted to announce that. I am going to be making a weekly video every Monday. That's why this video is coming out on Monday. Um, and I'm going to be reviewing each and every one of the eight Bridgerton books. There is a ninth one and that's Violet's story and I'm also going to be throwing that in there as well. Um, but mostly we're going to focus on the eight, which is all the um, Bridgerton siblings. So I am going to show you all the books today and I'm going to rank them in order of my um, most favorite to my least favorite and also talk about the characters and which ones I like best and that type of thing. Okay. So to start this off, here are three books and do not mind the sticky notes I put on the back um, just to remind me which characters are with which book and which one is in which order. Um, so our first three books are The Duke and I, The Viscount Who Loved Me, and An Offer from a Gentleman. Um, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this because I can't hold all eight books at one time. Um, to hold them out like this to show you the covers. So I'm going to show you these first three and then I'll pick up the next three, show you those, and go on from there. Okay, so our fourth book is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Then we have um, To Sir Philip with Love. Sorry, I wasn't sure if it was Dear or Two. And then we have When He Was Wicked. So those are our next ones. And I just love all these covers so much. That's kind of why I'm sh doing this and showing you all of these. Um, if you want to see the covers more in depth and up close and like edited nicely, um, I have pictures of all of them on Instagram, so go check them out there. Um, then we have number seven here, which is It's In His Kiss, and then number eight, and it's called On The Way To The Wedding. So I loved number seven. This is probably my favorite one. And that is because Hyacinth is in this book. She is the youngest daughter um, of all the Bridgertons and she is my favorite I have found. And I actually didn't even realize that until I read the last book and I was like really sad um, that it was ending and Hyacinth like was featured in the last book a lot. Um, and it just made me sad that like I would like, not really get to hear from her again or hear about her story again. Um, and when I finished this book, I also kind of had that like book like sadness where like I didn't want to read the last one because it was the last one of the series and also this one was so good that I didn't want to read another one because I didn't want it to end. <laughs> um, and this one was so good I was like I don't even want to read anymore right now because the last book that I read was so good I can't even read anything else right now. So this is definitely my absolute favorite book of the series. Um, my second favorite I am going to have to say was an offer from a gentleman. Um, this one was about Benedict and also, um, Sophie and Sophie was adorable and I loved her. I'm sorry. Gareth was the male lead in this book. So I also really liked Gareth as well. And he had his own like cool backstory and I don't want to say too much cause I don't want to spoil anything, but I really liked him too. So that's another reason why this is my favorite one. Um, but also this is my second favorite because I love Benedict and I love Sophie and I loved each of their stories, their backstories, everything about it. I really, really liked it. Um, not quite as much as I like Hyacinth, but really like that too. So it's definitely an easy second pick for me. Um, I'm going to just kind of stack these here and then I'll hold them up for you since you probably can't see my lap, um, right now. But I'm gonna say my third favorite was Daphne and Simon. I really liked them together. I really liked the innocence of Daphne. I liked how sweet she was and headstrong and just, she was great. I loved her as a character. I also really liked Simon as a character. He was really cool. He had a very interesting backstory and this whole book just grabbed my attention and I was really excited to read this one. So this is gonna go as the third favorite. And I am going to have to look at the backs of these to see who is in all of these um, to pick my next one. Darn it, this next pick is really hard. Um, I'm gonna say, uh, I'm really between these two on my fourth favorite here. Um, I'm gonna say it's a close tie but this one went out simply because I really liked Eloise. She's really um, headstrong and smart and um, does some crazy stuff in this book um, and 
we get to hear a lot of her inner monologue on the, in this book and I really enjoyed that as well. Sir Philip is the male um, lead in this book um, and I liked him as well. Um, he was kind of, he was all right. I definitely could have made him better, but um, he had a lot of like inner angst that was kind of annoying to have to hear about all the time. And the guy really needed to just like sit down and work on himself. <laughs> Um, but I think Eloise took the cake for me on this book and I really liked it because of that. So because of that, this is rated my fourth favorite. Then as a close second, we have Colin and Penelope. I did not see this one coming. Um, this was before, um, the second season of the Netflix show came out and I totally didn't see this coming. There's also a lot of secrets in this book. I liked this book because there were so many secrets in it. Um, yeah, I, hard to really say all of them because I don't want to give anything away in case you haven't read about it or seen it somewhere. Um, but I really like this one as well. Um, now, I'm not going to say I had a least favorite in this series because they were all really good. Um, but... Yeah, it's so hard to say because I loved all the characters so much. But anyway, um, let me pick my next one. My next one's going to be the Viscount who loved me um, because I really liked Anthony and I really liked Kate Nibby, who are the female leads in this book. Um, I'm not going to say uh, who is um, who is married to Anthony. You're going to have to read the book to find that out or watch the Netflix show. But I will say that um, I was a bit disappointed with the Netflix show because they really changed Kate and Edwina completely to different people and I did not appreciate that. Um, I really had an image of who those girls both were in my mind from what the author wrote about and they did not match the image at all and I did not like that. And they also changed their last name in the show um, so I didn't appreciate that either. I feel like when Netflix gets a hold of um, different uh, book series they just kind of feel like they can really do their own thing and maybe the author gives them that right but I really don't appreciate it and don't like it um, and I wish that they would go um, with the characters that are actually described in the book and come somewhere closer to that because it was just not at all what I pictured and it actually ruined the whole show for me and I didn't continue watching it because of that reason. Um, it kind of just really irritated me that Netflix just decided to do what they wanted to do. Um, they also did that with another book that I was reading recently, which was called The One, and they completely changed that whole story and all the characters, and I was really disappointed. So, boo Netflix, <laughs> is all I have to say about that one. Um, my next favorite is between these two. They are the last ones left. Um, I'm going to say I'm going to have to go with this one. Um, simply because there was just way too much romance in this book for me. It was like really ooey gooey and I am not that big of a fan of romance books. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, this one was Gregory Lucy and Hermione. Um, I hope I'm saying her name right. It's spelled H-E-R-M-I-O-N-E. I called her Hermione, like the girl from Harry Potter is what I'm thinking that name is, but I'm not 100% certain. So I'm sorry if I got it wrong. Um, but I really like this. This was kind of like a love triangle, like, um, Gregory couldn't really make up his mind. Hermione couldn't really make up her mind. Lucy was like engaged to somebody that she didn't want to be engaged to. And it was like a whole thing. Um, but there was a lot of drama in this. There was a lot of characters from all the other books in this that I really appreciated as well. So there was really just a lot in this. So that's my next favorite. And then I would say When He Was Wicked. Now, don't get me wrong, I did not dislike this book at all. I really did like it. Um, I really liked Francesca as a character as well. Okay, so there was Francesca in this book, there was her husband John, and then there was his cousin, I believe he was, uh, Michael. Unless he was his brother. One way or the other. But anyway, um, so there was the three of them in this book, and there's a lot that happens between all of them. A um, lot that goes down, a lot of backstory in this. A lot of interesting things in this. Um, I like this book a lot because Francesca is talked about a lot in the other books and we hear a lot about her um, like moving to Scotland and that she got married and moved to Scotland at a young age um, and then we kind of don't really hear much about her so we don't really know a lot about this character and this book really helped us to learn more about her and figure out what was going on over there in Scotland. Um, and it was a lot and you will, will not be disappointed by it. So definitely check this one out. But here is my order of books. I 
hope you can see that whole stack right there. So I'm going to read them out. So my first favorite, in it, it's in his kiss, an offer from a gentleman, the Duke and I, to Sir Philip of Love, romancing Mr. Bridgerton, the Viscount who loved me, on the way to the wedding, and when he was wicked. That is my Bridgerton wrap up. These are my um, from most favorite to least favorite. I don't want to say I have a least favorite because they were all very good. Um, but yeah, that this is my favorites. <laughs> These are the characters I really don't want to let go of, but I have to, and I am sad about it because I've already read them all. So, um, the last Bridgerton to, um, read is the book about Violet, who is their mom, and it, I believe that's supposed to be, like, her backstory, so I am pretty excited to read that one as well. Um, but yeah, I will be doing a review every single Monday on all of these Bridgerton books, so make sure you keep an eye out for those videos. I'm really excited about it. Um, and that's pretty much all I really have to say about it, I think. So make sure you check back here every single Monday because I'll be posting a new Bridgerton review video and also every single Friday because I post a weekly video every Friday. Um, and please, if you wouldn't mind to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of those videos. Go check out my other content because I have a lot of it out there right now and I'm actually really proud of it. Um, and if you would like to see more on my Instagram of Bridgertons, there is plenty of Bridgerton content on there and I will be posting more as well. Um, and yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Okay, bye. <laughs>